Animal Olympics by Josie Dom. Have you heard the news? The song thrush sang on high. The people are staying indoors. It's now our turn to fly. Pass it on, tell your friends. There's a stadium in the east. We'll have our own Olympics. Tell every bird and beast. The birds and the bees, the beasts and the fleas, crawled and walked and ran and flew over forests green and oceans blue. They travelled in ones and in twos. Everyone they saw, they passed on the news. In threes and fours and in bigger groups, enjoying themselves, rallying the troops. The woodpeckers stepped up to take the lead. They arranged the games, oh yes indeed. From opening night to farewell hurrah, welcoming all from near and far. First to compete, cheaters defied their name. This was important, not a game. 100 metre sprint amazingly fast. At this pace, the games wouldn't last. Down at the beach the lobsters are ready. Team number one is led by Big Eddie, the famous lobster from over the sea, while team number two have little Bertie. The ball is picked up and they all start to volley. They don't know how to play but think this is jolly. The perfect contestants to try triple jumps are bumbling toads all covered in bumps. They take a run up and then a big hop. Fly through the air and don't want to stop. Suddenly they realise and thrust out their hips. Toads love this sport and leap into skips. At the end comes the jump, best of them all. They land on their feet, never a fall. 